And it's time for more Mortal Kombat. Did you think I was gonna yell again? No, I already killed my throat last time. You could say, combat time. Oh, God. Uh, if you didn't know, that's from the, uh, the animated cartoon show. Animated cartoon show? Of course, the cartoon is animated, idiot. Anyhow, this is another one of the PX exclusive Mesco Toys Mortal Kombat X Kitana. Like I mentioned in the Code Account Review, I have them all now in the PX exclusive edition. I don't have the regular one, and they always have the regular version on the on the card over here. And that's actually also some bio. If you want to read that, feel free to do so right now. I will just go on, move on, and go to the figure. Wow, that's what I call a bloody good time. Honestly, I think they uh, overdid it a little bit on her. I like what we've called a con, but this is just like just. I don't know. Anyhow, first and foremost, size of Katana. She stands at about 15, a little shy of 15 centimeters, really to the top of her bun. If you're gonna go to the top of her head, that's uh, that's around 14 centimeters. So, overall size, six inches, and uh, if we're just going to the top of it, six, five and a half, a little over five and a half, five, six. Overall look and detail of the figure. She does have a little bit of a bored look. Not a fan of the face, actually. I mean, the way it's molded, it's just the eyes that are just like, duh. Duh. And like I said, I feel like they a little overdid it with the uh, red goop. But that's the exclusive. Should have just bought the regular one, idiot. Oh, it doesn't look as, as extreme on the pictures. There's the butt, of course. I just stop there, stop there for a second so you can take that in. Very good painting, molding, everything, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of detail going on, just look at all the golden stuff, the golden ornaments on her armor, and just also a lot of wrinkles going on in the pants, detail, in the gloves, some more armor, and whatnot. And this is overall kind of weird katana design, I always thought that with, uh, MKX Katana. Now let's have a look at the articulation. First of all, the head is pretty limited. You have the ball in the neck over there, so you can rotate it around. It goes a little bit more around than Cold Khan, I feel, back and forth. And that's fine. Then we have the shoulder. It actually goes up a lot more, but you still have the ugly ball that just really sticks out there, especially with all the blood splatters. And the elbow, you have a single hinge, which also rotates around. You can bring it all the way around. Same thing at the hand. You have a hinge. Has very good motion because there's nothing blocking it. And then we got no articulation in the chest. The torso only rotates at the lower part. And this is bad. Why? Why didn't they mold this further? Why is this just? Why is this just stopping over here? Just no conversion at all. So, also the articulation, the movement for it is very bad. I mean, it's just that's all this. Wiggle motion is what we call that. I mean, that's what I call it at least. Then we have legs. They go forward, good enough. Doesn't really go back because butt goes out to the side. Just like with Cobra Khan, old school ball joint, nothing fancy. And then we have a fine swivel, which, I mean, it works, it just breaks up the sculpt. Why didn't they make a swivel kind of over there instead of the entire skin part rotating around with it? So that doesn't really. It works, but it doesn't look good. Then we have the knee. Gets not quite 45. It's close, it's close. It moves out forward for whatever reason, that, that doesn't make any sense. I guess this is Mortal Kombat, though, so you can do your fatalities. And it rotates around, and you have the foot, which is also on a ball shaped hinge. And it just, it actually doesn't really go around as much. I mean, I just had Cole Khan in here, and I'd, this guy had a lot more motion in his feet than this uh, supposedly nimble princess. I don't know. Starting off the accessories with the fans. You gotta have them fans for Katana. If you don't have fans, it's not Katana. It's probably a ripoff. We have the red on there signifying blood because she sticks it in there, opponents, and then just drips them apart by opening it. Fun times indeed. We have the PX exclusive. I think that's the exclusive part, which doesn't focus now. Which uh, was the. What was that? The pose was called Mournful. 
And it's basically Jade's stick, just in a pink see-through style, with some blood splatters on there. It's, I mean, it's just a stick. Then we have uh, this, what do I call that? A giant ninja star, I guess, with some more blood on it. Oh, it's just the tips and some sprinkles. Yay! Blood sprinkles. How do you like your cereal kits? With blood sprinkles, yay! Then we have holding hands, a couple of it. I mean, this is more for posing, I guess. What what was she, what was she supposed to hold with that? I don't know. Hold on. Does she even hold that with anything? Maybe this one. Not that. Oh, no, that works. That works. That works. Same for the other side. You have two of those. Okay, that's definitely the fan holding hands. And this is definitely the stick holding hand, the staff, whatever. I can't get it in right now, but this, what else would that be? All right. And you have more open hands once more. And you have completely flat chop hands or waving hands. Hiya. And it's going to bring us to the final thoughts of this figure. What do I think? Just with like all the other ones, I do recommend this one because they start they clock in at like 20 bucks. And I think this is absolutely worth it for 20 bucks. The amount of detail, very clean paint job and a nice set of accessories make it worth your while. Although the articulation is very limited and for this one in particular, the blood splatters really just distract me a little bit. So I. Going back, I would probably recommend you to get the regular one instead of the PX exclusive. I just think it's meh. But still, the figure itself is worth it. So there you go. As usual, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, feel free to hit it up with a like. And maybe subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Kitana wants.